Hey, it's Steve. Wanted to come to you with a quick message. Um, years back, you know, one of our core tenets within Life and Air is to really talk about a life of simplicity. And, uh, you know, simplicity is a buzzword in many circles, frugal living, things like that, uh, you know, come across. But I just wanted to share with all of you uh, where that whole you know, idea of abundant life was found uh, from simple living came from. And, you know, for me, uh, you know, I spend a lot of time in my Bible studying and just quiet time. And uh, I really wanted to know how the apostles and Paul and how Jesus, you know, what, what did their life look like? And, you know, the reality of the situation is if you do go into your Bible and you start reading uh, with the intent of just studying what was their lifestyle like? How did they live? You know, at the end of the day, uh, they lived very simple lives. Uh, their lives weren't complicated. They were available. They were able to uh, love people and minister to people and to serve people. Um, you know, Paul also, you know, had a business. He was a simple business. He was a tent maker, but he made uh, tents to be able to support himself. Uh, yet at the same time, he obviously wasn't pursuing a whole lot more because he might have had to make a, a whole lot more tents and wouldn't have had time for ministry. But uh, because of the simple life that he was living, uh, he was able to uh, be one of the most incredible ministers who's ever walked the face of the earth, yet at the same time run his business in such a way that it provided for him. And, you know, so uh, they, the, the apostles, Jesus especially, they were emulating Jesus. Paul was emulating Jesus and the life that he lived. Um, they, they really give us some insight into uh, what simple living is and the abundance that can come from it. And so um, we live in a world today that would suggest, oh, that's, you know, things are different today. It's not supposed to be that way or, you know, we can have more or we can do more. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to sit here and tell you that everybody is supposed to live a simple life, but there is definitely virtue in it. And uh, I would challenge you to question your motives uh, if, uh, if you're resisting uh, simplicity uh, because uh, you want more. Uh, I would just encourage you to let that rest and sit on it for a while and uh, try to determine what your motives are, what, what, what causes that tension or resistance from living a simple life. And um, if you feel like there may be more uh, benefits to you for living simply, I would encourage you to have the courage to go ahead and pursue it. Have a blessed day.